Hi everyone, hope everyone's doing well at the comfort of your homes. Um, today, I just wanted to basically uh, share a bit of a contemplation um, in regards to one of my favorite verses in the, in the Bible. Um, that one is um, from Ecclesiastes chapter 12, verse 1, um, which says, Remember now your Creator in the days of your youth. Um, I really believe this verse is very relatable to each one. Um, especially nowadays, um, where you know, in our modern times, where we're facing a lot of uh, tribulations. For example, this coronavirus, um, and truly, this verse brings a lot of important messages and concepts. Um, so, I want to speak to you guys about three important messages, um, and hopefully, be short and sweet, and may God, um, you know, impact you all through His words. So, if we start in the name of the Father, Son, and the Holy Spirit, one God, I mean, the first. A message I want to speak to you about in regards to this verse is um, relevance. How relatable this verse is to each person, um, you know, watch maybe watching this um, this segment, um, and to every other youth um, outside, um, you know, inside the church and outside the church. Now, this verse, as we all may know, is from the Old Testament, and it proves it's important from the old ages, showing how. The tendency of humans to have a, um, a, having a lack um, of remembering God in the days of their youth. Now, unfortunately, as we can see here today, uh, the same issue is still present today. Um, at times, we forget who our Creator is, and we forget where we, where we originally came from. You know, um, at times, we don't necessarily um, relate all our behaviour. Um, to God, and then I, before any one of you, um, at times neglect going back to my Savior, back to my Creator, and telling Him, you know, I remember, you know, I remember you, you know, and that can just be by you know consistent prayer, by just making sure that you know um, under the guidance of my confession Father, that in the morning and at night, uh, or whatever He, uh, you know, He prescribes um, to me. Um, to stay consistent with my Bible readings, my Gbiya prayers, my Matanias, um, etc. Um, you know, one of the most uh, beautiful um, exclamations I've heard um, was by Saint Mina um, when the governor, governor um, pressured him and said to him, um, "Come and worship the idols." And he said to him, Saint Mina replied to him um, with a very firm voice and a very, um, very faithful. Tony said to him, I am a soldier of Christ. Um, nowadays, many of us at uni, at work, how many times do we, when someone asks us, you know, to come and do something that is against um, the Lord's creation, sorry, against the Lord's commandments, um, do we say that, do we say no and say, I'm a soldier of Christ? You know, um, I was actually listening to a very, uh, to a small a sermon yesterday by Father Daniel Abba Moses, he's one of the monks um, from uh, the monastery in America, um, St. Mary and St. Moses Abbey. Um, he's actually, uh, he wasn't born into a Coptic Orthodox uh, family. Um, he's actually American, you know, Native American. Um, and he became a Coptic monk. And he was saying that it came to a point in his time where when he opened his Bible, he realized that every single action and behavior he was doing in his past life was just against God's commandments. And he realized at that point that he needed to make a change. Um, and that's where he basically um, took a stand and said, um, you know, I'm going to change my life. And that's where it led him to now being a monk, being a very inspirational monk. And, and again, we have many, many inspirational uh, figures in our church also like and uh, one of my favorites too Abuna Lazarus Elantoni who was an atheist and he became um, and he then became a uh, one of the most amazing Coptic monks and ascetics uh, in, in today's time and age now unfortunately um, before and now many of us again before me before any of you uh, we forget the verse that says, Blessed are the undefiled in the way who walk in the law of the Lord. Blessed are those who keep his testimonies, who seek him with the whole heart. They also do no iniquity, they walk in his ways. So again, um, you know, 
Psalm 119, it basically says that blessed are those who walk in the in the in the path of the Lord. You know, it's a very simple verse. Um, so again, just if we can remember that the days of our youth, it's relatable. This verse is relatable to each one of us, and we need to take it very seriously. The second point is the importance of self-control. Now, centuries ago, um, youth were remembering their Creator through persecution. So, any time many youth were remembering God was through the physical persecution. Um, they were steadfast in remembering their Savior in all circumstances and, and situations, even when being tempted. Now, let me give you an example. Is even Saint Anthony? He had self-control when tempted by the lady with no clothes. Now, the question is today, today's day. How are we? How and when are we remembering God? Is it only through tribulation? Is it only through when something goes wrong in my life that I remember God? There was a, a Umbangelos once said a beautiful, um, you know, uh, you can say a, a 